my name is Brandi Eckler and I'm one of the authors of Getting Through Tough Times and today I want to talk about coping with the loss of a loved one. And the first thing I want to discuss is guilt. So as humans, it's so natural for us to want to place blame and a lot of the times we take that blame and we place it on ourselves and we start to feel guilty. So whenever this happens, I want you to take your thoughts and just simply redirect them and start to think about the ways you positively impacted this person's life and think about the good times you've shared and just think about all the ways you've helped them. Whenever you start placing guilt on yourself, it just makes you feel bad in the moment and it's not gonna change anything in the past. So the next thing I wanna discuss is not trying to change your emotions and just feeling what you feel. So a lot of the times we feel a certain way and we don't understand it. So maybe you're feeling happy and you don't feel like you deserve to feel happy. Or maybe you feel kind of angry at the person. Um, maybe you feel abandoned. There's so many emotions and they're all natural. So just feel them as they go. Um, you totally deserve to feel happy. You totally deserve to move on and you shouldn't feel bad about it. You're gonna think of the good times and maybe you'll laugh and then maybe you'll feel sad and wanna cry the next moment. It's totally okay. Just feel whatever you feel and accept it. It's gonna, you're gonna go through ebbs and flows and that's natural. So the last thing I wanna talk about is you need to avoid drugs and alcohol. So these things only numb the pain and it's basically like pressing pause and you're not working through your emotions, you're just pausing them and that doesn't help. Ultimately, what you wanna do is feel happy and these things are gonna make you feel happy. And whenever you're in this, this, this spot, you are very susceptible to getting addicted and that's not what you want. So even if you casually drink here and there, Definitely avoid it for at least a couple months until you can process everything that's happening and start to accept it. Um, those are my three tips on what you should avoid if you're coping with the loss of a loved one. I hope it helps. And until next time, thank you for watching.